welcome back to another tutorial for uh, the Friday uh, episode and what we're going to be doing today is actually some M crater work now that we got some of the texture making tutorial parts out of the way. Uh, now the one thing that I should note is I'm going to be using a uh, custom JSON file. It's just literally a cube with um, some extra settings in it. I'll make sure to provide it in the download. Uh, or the description for a download and I'll explain how it all works. So ambient, ambient occlusion is basically extra shadowing and stuff uh, for uh, Minecraft. It's not really needed for transparency blocks. So um, I've set that to false and I've just added the general cube display settings. So that's basically all that I've done and then the, the element cube is right down here. So. When we import it, uh, it's going to basically just disable the uh, ambient, ambient occlusion and uh, set the display settings to what a regular block would be. So if you want that particular file uh, to make sure that there isn't any shading errors or anything like that, I'll leave it in the description for a download link. So with that being said, I have our textures made for the um, next couple episodes at least. So we're going to be working on leaves today and uh, just a regular log to get started and then we can work on planks and other things later on. So with that being said, I created a new workspace just for the tutorials and um, yeah, let's get started. So first thing that we need to do is import our uh, leaf texture. So if I go to import and then go to uh, I believe it's block and then we'll go and import um, from our desktop and then I have a Friday's folder Friday's tutorial there we go and then I'm gonna need maple leaves for to start and I'm gonna also need um, maple log and maple log top so those are the textures that we're going to be working with today, and we're also going to need um, to import our leaf model texture. So we're going to select that, select our texture, and then we're going to save it. And now that we got that out of the way, what we can do is we can start working on creating the blocks. So we're going to start with leaves first, and I'm going to call it... Um, maple leaves just to keep it short and then we're going to import that we're going to select our bottom texture right here to our maple leaf texture and then we're going to select our uh, maple leaves model uh, we don't want rotation and uh, transparency we want to set this to translucent we want to make sure it's enabled our block model is still a cube so that will be perfectly fine Maple leaves we want under uh, leaves and for decoration blocks. And if we quickly go on to Minecraft Wiki, um, if we type in leaves Minecraft Wiki, Gamepedia should come up uh, somewhere around the top. Oh, I'm just gonna take a no. That's saplings. Take a wild guess. That it's this one. Get rid of all those notifications. And if we scroll down, uh, we can see that uh, there's basically blast resistance one, and our hardness level is 0.2. So we're going to go over to M Crater now and set our hardness to 0.2 and our blast resistance to one. And then for update tick, I'm just going to leave that as um, 10 for now and default uh, or the block color on the map. So this is basically the color that's um, going to be dis displayed on the map. It's best to set this to foliage for leaves. Uh, is this block flammable? Yeah, it would be. And... All this is good outside of having this as a plant and luminescence. We don't need light, op light opacity. Uh, we only 
we need this set to zero and tool able to destroy it. Now there isn't shears. Maybe M Creator could add shears in the future. Um, I've noticed that there's been a few instances where shears would have been probably a good selection, but uh, for now we'll use axe. Uh, tool uh, harvest level, we're just going to set this to zero. And affected by silk touch, yes we want that affected by silk touch. And um, all these settings are okay for now. So we're going to go and click next. Uh, particles, we don't need any inventory. We don't need any of that right now. Um, we'll get back to this in a second. Uh, actually, we could just quickly, quickly do, well, we don't have the uh, sapling in, so we'll, we'll get back to that in a future video. So just click next and generation, we don't need to worry about. Uh, do basically another block. Uh, so we're going to go and select block and then we're going to go and create maple log and then create new. And then what we're going to do is select our blue square for our side textures. And then we're going to select our top and our bottom texture. And this is going to be a solid block. Uh, it doesn't need a model, but it does need um, log rotation. And all this other settings are perfectly fine. Now for this, you want to set it to wood and then have it under building blocks. Those are the general tabs, unless you have your own creative inventory. And for hardness, uh, if we go and click um, logs, something should come up and we should find that the resistance is 10 and hardness is 2. So 2 and 10, perfect. And then we don't need any um, update ticks for this particular one, so set this to 0, that will disable it. And we want this to be uh, a wood, because it's a wood block. And it is also flammable, so we want that to be enabled. And that needs to be set to wood, and that's fine because it's um, a solid block. Uh, tool able to harvest, uh, we're gonna set this to uh, the harvest level to zero, and we're gonna use an ax as well. Affected by silk touch, we don't really need. And that's perfectly fine. So we can move on to just compiling that and then what we're going to do is make a structure today as well. So I'm now in game and I'm going to create a very simple flat uh, creative world. So we're going to go to creative world options. We're going to set it to super flat and then we're just going to disable structures we want cheats on and we do not want any bonus chests so make sure that's all set up uh, for the world name i suggest just making this uh, build in world and then we'll set this to start generating and once we're in here we'll basically be able to um, create a structure for our tree so the first step is to disable the options, set this to peaceful so we don't have a whole bunch of slimes getting in the way. And uh, if we go to the bottom here, our maple log will be down here. And if we go here all the way to the bottom, then we'll have maple leaves. So now that we've got that in our inventory, what we can do is kind of start climbing up like that. Uh, general oak tree is about five or six logs high. It depends on um, how high the actual tree is. So if we go out like this and do that for all sides, so it's kind of like this, you can basically make an oak tree. So we'll start with that level and then we'll do that for the next level as well. And then we'll kind of go like this. And then finally we'll go and put the top on like that. So 
As you can see at the farther distances, it doesn't have any weird shading of at this rendering distance, uh, roughly around, especially if you were to turn around like that, it would uh, kind of give it kind of like a black um, shading uh, with rendering distance. It doesn't really look good. So that leaf texture or that leaf model um, basically fixes that issue. So outside of that, we can now basically go and go into our commands and go give at a uh, structure block and then what we'll do is find the axis that we need to be on so we're going to go over here and one block forward and then what we're going to do is probably put it one block below just so it's easier and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill in um, yeah, we're going to fill in this. So we want there, and then what we want to do is go to this side and go and press uh, the command option. We're going to go uh, fill, and then we're going to press tab three times, and then we're going to um, go and delete that block, and then what we're going to do is go down here we're going to press tab three times again and then we're going to go structure and then we want void and then we're going to copy that we're going to get rid of this block uh, you can hit control C to copy and uh, control V to paste so once you have that done then what you want to do is go and um, Go replace and then you want to set uh, air so minecraft air and then uh, you should be able to go, be good to go so uh, what just basically happened was we just placed it a whole bunch of structure voids in places that um, would allow blocks to override so structure voids allow blocks to be placed inside those areas where um, for example if we didn't have it it would just spawn air so if we go to here and uh, basically turn on invisible blocks and let me need to set our coordinates to one one so that will put it on the positive one and then we'll set this to five I think it's about nine and then five. We'll see if it's about that direction. A little bit too high. So as you can see, the red blocks are where all the structure voids are and the blue blocks are air. So I'm gonna shrink this down two in number. So this would be seven. And that's perfect, nice fit. So it actually, if we click on that, you can actually see that it goes just perfectly where it needs to be. It's starting here um, where this red block is and then it goes on to the other side. So if we save this as maple tree underscore one and uh, I'll just quickly go out of that. Minecraft should be added at the top there if you go out of it. So that's what the new structures will be called. Minecraft maple. Those your uh, structure name. So um, I'm actually going to set this to zero just because I'm used to starting with zero. And we're going to go. Oh, and if you wanted to add entities to spawn in your structures, you can also enable this and then make sure that they stay in your structure when you actually go to save it. And uh, then we'll make sure to copy all your entities as well. So first off, uh, we're just going to save this and then we have our first maple tree. You can make different models. Um, we'll be doing a couple other models uh, probably next episode, um, just to different styles and different heights and stuff like that. So anyhow, uh, after you got that done, uh, what you can do is go back here, go to resources, structures, and then click on import structure from Minecraft as long as you still have that world and it will list the structures that you've made here. 
So we're gonna import the maple tree. And uh, if you actually have a structure for uh, that you've exported, then you can just click on import structure, or not import, import structures, and then you would select your structure here for your MBT. It also supports uh, schematic files from um, MC Edit. Yeah, I think it's MC Edit that supports uh, mixed structure or schematic files, so you can do that as well if you have um, some skill in using that particular program. But outside of that, hopefully you guys found today's video uh, useful. We'll continue this uh, next episode and work on a couple different structures uh, so we can create a variant for when we actually go and make the sapling. But uh, that's all the time we have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.